Good evening everyone, it's Dana here with Love Sola Flowers and we are going to do some fun alternative to a boutonniere tonight um, and I'm really excited about it uh, and I'll wait for you guys to join me. So uh, we are still currently having our sale. Uh, it's up to 70% and it's on our website lovesolaflowers.com and if you haven't joined our community group yet, go ahead and do that. That is facebook.com slash groups slash love solar flowers. So that's the business part, but we're going to do something fun and uh, I'm going to use some fun colors and some fun fillers tonight. Um, I am doing a mixture of faux fillers as well as um, loves beautiful preserved and dried fillers. So we're really uh, going to do something that we haven't done yet. So this is fun. Hey, Johnny. Hi, everyone. I see you guys popping on. We are here back on a Thursday night, which is when I try to get on and do these. Um, summer's a little bit crazy. Are you guys all enjoying summer? We've been having really weird weather here in New Jersey. Lots of rainstorms and crazy things like that. Hey, Stacy. Um, but tonight is calm so far. <laughs> so we lost electricity a couple times even in the last few weeks. So um, we're uh, glad that tonight's weather is good enough that I have electricity to do this. So um, yeah, so we are going to do a pocket square tonight. Again, we are still having a, a sale on lovesolaflowers.com. Hi, Karen. We have, um, hey, Shell. So we have um, lots of sales going on all the time. So in order to keep up on our sales, you're gonna wanna sign up for emails and text messages. That way you don't miss anything good and exciting. Um, you get, you know, the first kinda, you know, knowledge if you're in our groups. Usually if there's something really special, we'll post it in our group first. So make sure that you um, join our group as well for sometimes the inside scoop part. Um, but yeah, hi everyone, I see all of you. How are you? So we are gonna make a pocket square tonight and I'm excited about it. So um, here's what you need. You need to go onto Amazon or wherever else you can get them and I'm not exactly sure where you find them besides Amazon um, because I use Amazon for everything. Um, but it is called a pocket square holder and they are super duper cheap. They come usually a few in a package and uh, it is a pocket square holder. So um, you can build these on lots of different things. You can put them on cardboard. I know people do cardboard or things like that. But the thing about cardboard and everything is that you don't have like maybe an exact shape that was made for a pocket. So if you get the pocket square holder, which again is very cheap, you know it's gonna go into the guy's pocket and it's gonna fill the space and it's not gonna move at all. If you do it on a cardboard, number one, it could be a little flimsy. Number two, if you're not the exact shape, it could flop around a little bit in the pocket. But if you use this, it's like a plastic. Um, if you use this, you're gonna know that it's perfectly shaped for a pocket and it's made to just go right in there. And I love pocket squares. Um, I prefer them even over boutonnieres sometimes. Um, the pocket square floral ones, not not just a not just a handkerchief. I do like flowers or some types of fillers on guys, but I like the floral pocket squares um, because they're so much easier. The guy can just literally pop it in and doesn't think about it for the rest of the day. I do know that sometimes some of the guys maybe like pin it kind of through this side from the inside if they want to make sure that when they're moving around or dancing or anything, it's not like bouncing out. But if you do the pocket square holder, again, this will be a perfect fit for your pocket. Um, and that way you're not gonna have to worry about, you know, trying to make sure your little cardboard piece or whatever. Do they have, oh, yes. So uh, most jackets have pockets. Some of them have fake pockets. So you'll, you would wanna check that. Also, it is helpful to have one of these too if your guy is not wearing a jacket because they can put it in a button down shirt if they're just doing a button down. Um, even if they're doing like a beach wedding where it's like a short sleeve button down and you're not doing a jacket, these are perfect because sometimes boutonnieres look a little awkward when they're just on a shirt. So these are good because um, almost all button downs have pockets so you're not gonna have to worry about that. So I like the pocket square alternative um, for a few different reasons, but it's because it's easiest. You're not worrying about it falling all over and all that other kind of fun stuff. Um, yeah, 
Okay, so again, lovesoulflowers.com is our website. We are having a sale. Sign up to receive more alerts if uh, you uh, are missing out on the sale and need to get another one in. Um, hi. Okay, so we have that. Then we're going to have, I have just a few leafy faux fillers. This is a silver dollar eucalyptus and another type of faux filler. This will kind of be the backdrop and what we adhere everything to. Um, and then I've got and some platyspermum. I've got rice grass. Um, I've got starflower in yellow. I've got sataria. I've got phalaris and bunny tails. And I've got some caspia. Um, so those are what I'm going to use. I want mine to be a little bit wild. Um, boho is definitely a trend that I've seen with my brides. And so I wanted to keep this kind of more rustic-y looking. But you can definitely do this for the formal look as well. Um, I have a two inch, ooh, I have a two inch flower that I've dyed like a peachy color. And then I have two minis, two mi ooh, I just threw that away. Two minis um, in raw. Um, I have a little bird rose and a little belly. Okay, so here we go, we're gonna start. So what we're gonna do first, now when the po pocket square goes in, the very top of it is the only thing, it doesn't really stick out too much, okay? Um, so our fillers are seasonal and they come and go. So if you don't have any of these in stock, as soon as they show up back in stock, um, you know, grab them. Um, a lot of times, um, you know, again, it's, it's about seasonal when the farmers can get it to us. So if you don't have any of these, uh, different kinds of things in stock, um, they do, they will come back. We do try to get them as fast as we can get them too. So, um, yes. So that's just how it goes with with real live crops types things. So, but as soon as they, you know, as soon as we are able to get them, we do get them back in. So if there's something that you really love, I always say stock up on it because you don't know what kind of season it's gonna be when it's gonna be out either. So I'm going to make sure that I'm gonna work pretty high up on here because it slides down again in the pocket. This doesn't really stick up very high. So I want to build it a little bit high onto my pocket square here. And I'm just gonna put on my bow fillers first, and this will give me a base to build on, okay? I always stock up on this, some of these more seasonal type fillers. Um, just because I like to use them all year round. But a lot of the ones I have now are more fall styles, the ones I have here tonight. So they should be back then. All right, I'm gonna continue with my faux here and then we're gonna start to add um, our dried and preserved And I don't really necessarily have some rhyme or reason here um, why, where I'm putting it, but I'm just gonna create something fun. I do like asymmetrical. I don't like it to just be one sh line, like a strip. I do like it to be where some things are popping out a little bit more than others. Um, so once you've got your main base greenery, you can actually um, start to put some flowers on and then you're gonna build the rest of your greeneries around it. So I'm gonna put on my bigger uh, flower right now. It's a Helena. This is a two inch Helena. And again, we're building this on a pocket square holder. So we know it's gonna fit right down in that pocket without worrying about shape and size. I know some people use cardboard. Of course, you're welcome to try that out. Obviously, if you have the jacket with you, then it's easier to play around and know your sizing. But a lot of times, you know, the guys don't have jackets, obviously, until like the day of or whenever they rent them the night before. So I'm just using some platyspermum here. This is a really fun um, greenery. Um, I like it because it's very, what's the word, like kind of like long and narrow, which fills in spots nicely, but it's also good for projects like these, like boutonnieres, because they stand up and they're not so bushy, but they give some nice texture to your piece as well. Okay. All right. 
So I got some greens there. Now I'm gonna do, how do you spell that? Platyspermum, P-L-A-T-Y-S-P-E-R-M-U-M. <laughs> but anyway, it's a good one. It's great for accessories. It's great for things like corsages, um, where you just need to stick it kind of in a crack um, because it's nice and thin, but you know, a lot of the leaves are all at the top. So um, it works really nice. Now I'm gonna add my other flowers in here. And again, I'm just gonna start work towards the top part because I don't want it to be where it tucks down in the top of my pocket. So I'm gonna put my three. Again, I'm working asymmetrically. Um, if you like a little bit more symmetrical look, um, a little more symmetrical look, um, you know, you can, you can do that, but try not to just make it a skinny little line of stuff. You wanna give it some life still. So I do see part of the comment that Sultan added uh, to the video. Um, you know, there's delays in the ship shipments um, for every shipment, obviously not just for Love Sola Flowers, but you know, the world's been kind of crazy when it comes to shipping. So um, a lot of the things we're trying to get, styles of flowers and all that kind of stuff, but we are patiently waiting as well. Hey, Tracy. All right, I'm gonna continue again um, with my green part of my pocket square here and I'm gonna add some caspia again I am doing a very kind of fun asymmetrical look so I built it more to one side but again this is gonna be able to slide down in the pocket I am gonna get some pictures taken uh, in an actual suit to, to show you how it fits and how it looks I know sometimes it's hard to visualize while you're making these things but uh, I am going to try to get some pictures so that you can help visualize with me. These fillers are so great. Um, I have tried fillers from lots of different places. And the preserved and dried that we get at Love is definitely superior to so many other companies that sell dried and preserved. Um, so if you, again, love something... Um, when it comes back in stock, especially with how the whole, you know, COVID delay shipment type things are happening, I would stock up once you, <laughs> me, I'm, getting, I'm, I'm not taking a picture in a suit, but I will get some guy to take a picture in a suit. <laughs> um, I'm going to put, this is Soteria. And again, I'm just building out. It's a little bright lighting, so the colors might be a little bit off on your end. Um, but this Soteria is like a burnt orange. I can't remember the exact way we call it online, but um, I've got kind of these fallish colors. And I've got some Phalaris here and bunny tails, so I'm gonna add those in. Okay. So I'm gonna do a little bit of these colors now. And I always like to add colors to my anything, corsages, boutonnieres, all that kind of stuff. With my fillers, um, I tend to like to keep even my flowers on the more neutral side and do my colors up with the fillers. Just kind of a fun way to do color. Plus it saves you the time of dyeing flowers and I just love Sola left alone a lot. There's nothing like a raw Sola flower, just beautiful and perfect. Um, but we do have videos on how to dye if you are new to uh, Love Sola. We do have lots of videos on how to dye and do all that kind of fun stuff. And if you um, are new as well and haven't joined our community group, 
Um, we do give a lot of tips there. Um, it's easier if you have lots of questions to ask in our community group as opposed to um, messaging the customer service because sometimes, you know, it's more of a an opinion and, and so many people in our group have such great ideas that if you just send us private messages, you're going to miss out on what everybody else who has experience doing this uh, has to say. So if you have a question about, you know, what kind of flowers should I use, what color should I use, those kind of things, ask in our group. Again, that's facebook.com slash groups slash love solo flowers. And um, you can ask there any questions. Um, people are always happy to jump in and answer, you know, with their experiences. And I think, you know, everyone does stuff differently. Everyone learns differently. And so I think it's good to have a big group where everybody's just sharing what works for them because, you know, my way might not be the way that makes sense for you guys. And so it's good to hear what everyone has to say. And it's so fun and we try to keep it super encouraging um, and at the same time helping people grow. And I'm just adding these little bits. As you can see, I added my Phalaris and my, let me get all these glue strings off, my star flower, my bunny tails, all my kind of fun things. I know it looks silly and it's kind of even maybe hard to imagine, but um, yeah. <laughs> But I promise it'll look cute. I am going to, like I said, I am going to try to um, get some pictures and post it on the, in the group uh, and on the business page. Just so you can see what it actually looks like on a guy. I guess if I don't find a guy, maybe I will have to wear a suit jacket. <laughs> I don't even know if I would have one. <laughs> so, yeah, it's really fun and cute. And I think... It's a nice alternative for guys, too, to, like, have something a little bit special without it being, like, crazy. So I'm just filling up some of the spaces here. I think these days, you know, there's a, a fine line between, like, overboard with guys and, like, just big and nice. And I think that uh, guys are wearing bigger boots lately. I've seen a lot of, like, wild flowery boutonnieres um lately coming out in magazine bridal magazines and photo shoots and stuff and i think a man can carry a bigger boot these days and this is a way to give it like a bigger boot without it being just like one big huge flower so yeah we're filling in the gaps that is actually what i'm doing <laughs> so i am going to take my rice flower um and this is something too, if you love, I saw someone saying they were wanting some. If you don't have any in stock now, when we, these are kind of things that when we get them in stock, you know, buy a couple bagfuls of it, a couple bundlefuls of it, because you want to be able to, you know, have it around when you need it. There are some certain things that I always buy a bulk of it because I know I'm going to use it. So I'm just going to fill this guy up a little bit with this. And yes, I do love a filler boot myself. But with this, I think that it would be hard. Well, I mean, not hard if you used a lot, but it would be a little bit difficult to carry something so wide with just fillers. But if you had some really fun, like the Phalaris and the Sataria and all that, that fills up space. So if you're going to do something like this, you know, make sure that you fill up the square because that's the problem is that once you do something with the square, you got to fill the whole top of the square because otherwise, once you put it down in the pocket, it'll look really silly if you don't have the whole thing, whole thing filled up. So I'm just going to put one more little piece of rice grass and then we'll be all done. So look how easy that is. This is also like... um a way, I was just thinking about this, just follow along. We did do a magnet on corsage the other day, but you could totally use something like this and like clip it once you've made it and put a magnet on the back and have it for, you know, different uses. For like a woman who wants more of like a funky pin on, you know, maybe not 
it, maybe it's not grandma who wants a pin on, but if you're looking for a woman who needs like a boutonniere. You know how like a lot of times now too, there are women, best men, best women's. You know, there's a lot of times where, you know, each gender switches sides. This could be something cute to put on if I trimmed the bottom off and put a magnet on it for a woman too. So there's a lot of things you can do with this. You could even put, after you even do this, you could even like cut this and put a comb on it and make it a hair comb. It's such an easy thing to glue onto. See if I made this a hair comb, how cool would that be? And then you could just literally attach a comb to it. The card is just called a pocket square holder. I think, I think four came in my package, super duper cheap. So it's nice and it's sturdy and it's plastic. And I think you can do a bunch of things with the actual um, holders besides just this. But let me show you again what I did. And again, this is just gonna slide down in a pocket. So that's fun and easy and you don't have to worry about pins or magnets or anything else if you're just gonna do um, for your guy uh, in his pocket. Again, this is also good for if they're not wearing a jacket because Sometimes it's hard to figure out, like, where do you pin on a boutonniere if there's no lapel of a jacket? You know, like, what are you going to do on a button-down shirt? So these are perfect for button-down shirts. And a lot of guys are not wearing jackets these days. A lot of guys are just doing the button-down shirts. Or, again, you're eloping on a beach and you have a short sleeve button-down, but you still want something. Then you can just stick it right in and not worry about any of that. Yes, you could do that. There's a lot of things you could do with this. So anyway, this is my pocket square floral craziness, um, and I hope you enjoyed it. This is what the back looks like, just so you see how high I built it up, okay? Because the top of that card is the top of the pocket, so you want the stuff to go up and out, okay? Uh, our website, again, is lovesoloflowers.com. We are having a sale right now. Uh, if you do not get notifications for sales, you can sign up for those. There's an email sign up and a text sign up. Um, we don't text a lot. That's for like our very special, um, you know, warnings, maybe one day left or here's something coming soon, all that kind of stuff. And then uh, join our group, which is facebook.com slash groups slash love soul of flowers for kind of the inside scoops and to get, you know, a bigger broader you know advice pool than just me here on our page so that's fun too plus you build uh relationships with other hobbyists uh, brides or business people so um that's it that's it for tonight um i hope you had fun with this um i may put this link in our blog for the boutonnieres i'll add this maybe to our blog so we do have blogs um, I am starting to create um, a little different style blog where I'm using my tutorials uh, in a step-by-step -step blog as well. So um, I will add this to the Boutonniere blog so that you can find it all in one place um, so you don't have to go crazy searching. Okay? All right, guys. Have a wonderful night and a good weekend.